Am I doing it right, ladies and gentlemen? Am I doing it right? I have no idea. Okay, well, just went through the uh, setup process for the stride, spelled S-T-R-Y-D. And a lot of times, the reason I don't like dealing with technology is because it, it takes time. And I don't like to waste time, and I just, uh, but that was pretty easy. Now, is it gonna work on my first run with a stride? I have no idea if I set it up correctly. Supposedly, I just connected the stride to my polar, polar watch, but frankly, it almost seemed too easy. So we will see if it actually works out there. Um, here we go, putting on the Hoka EVO Speed Goats paired with the Stride. All right, and I, yeah, we'll see if, I don't know. First run, Stride, I'll give you my thoughts once I get back, oh man. Made it back, feeling good. I'll get you the stats in the studio. Gonna get some tea, start the recovery immediately. And uh, I just stopped the stride recording. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I, I, I'll be frank, I did not read the uh, owner's manual. So I recorded on my Polar Watch, the run, and then also through the stride app. Am I doing it right, ladies and gentlemen? Am I doing it right? I have no idea, but we'll find out together. Woo, that was a good one. has set up a tea station we're not we're not messing around anymore ladies and gentlemen recovery recovery after that first pretty epic stride run oh my my okay you guys probably already do this tip of the day to get your honey to distribute well in your tea you start pouring the honey and the water at the same time and it just uh, melts the honey with the hot water and it makes it taste so delicious. How's everybody doing today? I hope you had a good run today. And yes, we're gonna talk about the Stride foot pod. In fact, actually, before I open the box, uh, question of the day, do you use a foot pod? Have you ever used a foot pod? Uh, what brand, because I think there's other brands out there beyond Stride. So Stride is spelled S-T-R-Y-D. And does it help your training, okay? So foot pod, foot pod, uh, power meters, does it help your training as a runner? Let us know your experience down in the comments. Okay, now let's move on to the Stride foot pod. I am not an expert in foot pods and power meters and watts and all the science that goes into this little guy right here. Here's the deal. I'm a little confused. I connected the Stride foot pod in my kitchen today to the Polar watch that I have, the Polar Vantage V. 
and I thought, and I don't think it happened, I don't know, but I thought the data from the foot pod, the stride foot pod would end up uh, basically on my Polar app on my phone, or I guess maybe translated through the watch and then end up on Strava. That is the goal for me. I love data ending up on Strava because that is where we have the Demore Global Running community. And that's where we can support each other through our running goals, our running dreams. I just love what we have going on there. But uh, I don't think that's what happened. What happened is I think the polar data ended up in the Stride ecosystem. So the Stride app. So I got to figure out how all of these different ecosystems, Stride, Polar, and Strava, are talking to each other. I don't understand it right just yet. And again, this is my first run. Therefore, I'm just gonna pull up real quick the Strava run, but I don't think this is data. You see it on your screen there. I titled it Stride Run, focused on cadence, uh, 21 miles, so long run for the week, uh, 632 pace. And it felt like 632 pace, just so you know. I was not looking at my watch the entire way, uh, maybe once right at the end, just to make sure I was getting the miles in that I wanted. And then I don't know how the relative effort is tracked. Um, and then it looks like about 423 feet of elevation gain. So that's about right. Sounds a little high, but it's about right. Um, and again, I, I think this is all data from the Polar Vantage V. It's just scrolling down real quick. You see the graphs here. So my goal today in wearing the Stride Foot Pod was to track my cadence. I think everybody, I think, going into the Houston Marathon in like six weeks, basically. It's coming up real quick. I wanna work on my cadence, especially when I'm tired, not overstriding. Um, I don't wanna to focus too, too much on my heart rate late in the race. Like I don't wanna blow up, but I wanna focus on, meaning I don't wanna blow up, meaning I don't, wanna, I don't want my heart rate to spike but I wanna focus when my legs are tired on that cadence, just boom, boom, boom. And so that is how many steps you take in a minute. That's what cadence is. According to Strava, I was at 185 steps per minute. That's a good number, okay? I want it to be at least at 184. So I hit my goal there. And again, I don't think this is data. This is not data from the foot pod, I don't believe. Therefore, real quick, hold on. And it looks like my average heart rate was 141 which I do think that is accurate. I really do. Um, and I think, it, you know, coming right from this Vantage V, just so everyone knows, I'm loving the Vantage V. Polar Vantage V, it seems really, really accurate. It really does. So um, I actually do believe that that heart rate is pretty close. Maybe not spot on, but pretty close for a 141 and 630 pace. There it is. Now, I'm going to pull up real quick uh, the Stride app on my phone, and I'm going to pull up the run from today. And again, this is all new to me, all new data, but according to this, it says I was running 654 per mile. I don't know, I don't know, I don't I actually don't buy it. It says my leg stiffness was 6.9. What does that mean? Let me know down in the comments, I would appreciate it. And it, look, it says my cadence was 181 per minute. Maybe that is accurate, okay? That might be more, you know, I would believe that number over the watch, I would. So. Um, the elevation gain is way off. I don't, you know, it's, it's way off. It's a, it says over a thousand feet. So got to work on that. And it says my power was 212, which I'll be curious. Um, shoot, hold on one sec. I'm going to pull up power on Strava on my phone. I don't see it on the desktop version. It's so crazy. All these different ecosystem, isn't it? Hold on one second. Power on Strava. Is it, it says 282. Huh. All right. And it's like, ah, oh, it's like, who knows everybody? So just so everyone knows, I train by feel. I love training by feel because it's a little more freeing, freeing. Like I'm free out there. I'm not looking at my watch. I'm just enjoying the moment, enjoying the wind. And based on the video you just saw on the Stride website, I would never, I would never look at my watch and if my power was spiking in real time on an uphill section, like going up before, I would never, I just wouldn't do that. Like I, I just, it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't care. Okay, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get too far away from stride. Like I'm really grateful for the tool, but um, I don't think I'll ever be using it in the 14ers to say, oh, 
I better back off because my power is spiking or whatever the case may be. I just, um, I was trained as a college kid, as a college uh, runner to just listen to the body, listen to the breathing. How hard are you breathing? Listen to the burning in the legs, that lactic acid, listen to a lot of different things. Now, I think there could be benefits, but at this point, I'm not like jumping and doing cartwheels after my first impression run with the stride. All right, all right, now listen, ha let me have it down in the comments, convince me that I just need to figure out a few things and at the end of the day, we're runners chasing down dreams. Uh, technology can possibly help, but at the end of the day, like go out and run and enjoy. Oh, that's the essence of this sport. We get to go out and enjoy. I love you as usual. What a day and onward and upward. Oh man, whoo, so that's it. All right, signing off. We're gonna toss it back to uh, the Polar Vantage V watch unboxing and then we'll toss it back to another tech related vlog that has appeared on the channel, which is not too many on the left. There you go. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.